Hello folks, we are out and about on an adventure today, but it's an adventure where we haven't had to venture too far from home at all. We've lived in Leicester for three years now, but haven't yet been to the biggest tourist attraction in the city, which is where we're going today. It's the National Space Centre, yes, which is awesome. I've been here before. I came on a school trip uh, when I was a teacher years ago on a STEM trip, but that's going back like nearly 10 years. Andy and Anna have never been, so we're gonna go and have a little bit of an explore. And we also have to keep convincing Andy that, <laughs> that we're not going to be blasting off too loud. He is a little bit concerned that we're gonna be going to space. We have to keep telling him, we're just gonna go and look, we're not actually going to space. I don't think, I mean, if they offer it, I might have a, might have a little go. And as soon as we walked in, Andy has decided to sit down by the entrance. He's, uh, he's very nervous, more nervous than we thought he was about the idea that he's going in a rocket to space. Uh, so he doesn't want to go any further at the moment. We're trying to convince him that that's not what's happening. But while he's sat down having some crisps, I am going to wander around this conveniently positioned shop, which is full of very cool sciencey stuff. I wonder if they have astronaut outfits in my size. That would be awesome what of course i'm looking for here more than anything which i'm sure they'll have i want some astronaut food kind of what you come to this place for but they've got lots of very cool sciencey bits and bobs space rocks and typical gift shop fair they've got ties over there which is very cool and t-shirts and whatnot and moon rock and this is what we're looking for, space food. So specifically, I wanted some vanilla ice cream. So just in case Andy decides he doesn't actually want to go any further into this place at any point, I'm going to get myself my space food now. Panic over, quick bag of crisps later, and we are in. So this first section, the into space section, has just got lots of very cool space paraphernalia. Now when I came here on a school trip years ago obviously we spent a lot of time doing a lot of the activities and having a proper look and whatnot in here. I suggest with Andy it's going to be more of a whistle stop tour as he wanders around having a quick glance at things and then every now and again spots something he likes the look of like this which I am absolutely going to bang my head and I've got to press myself some buttons. Do like a button zap twist. Have we got a twisty thing here? I do like a... Oh, it doesn't twist. That's a shame. I imagine that's a, uh, a COVID measure. <laughs> that's a shame. Uh, this is where we drive the uh, shuttle from, I think, in this bit. So that was cool. Oh, there you go, he's found a quiz. That will sort him right out, having a quiz to do, an interactive quiz. While well, he's looking at that and still for a moment, I'll just see what else we've got knocking about around in this area. So lots of... He's doing what? Oh, he's got his hand in there. What have we got in there then? Oh, it's just getting used to putting your hands in astronaut gloves and seeing how it is to pick stuff up. Question two. That's cool. Question two, okay. Oh, still doing the quiz. A Russian space toilet. I'm just trying to work out the, uh, the logistics. I'm going to speculate they didn't have many lady astronauts looking at the way that's been constructed. No idea how this is going to come across on camera, but... This is to tell if you would get space sickness. And then I guess, do we press the button? Oh God, yeah. Okay. I need no longer than that. As someone who really suffers from travel sickness, that was yeah. enough time, just that first bit of movement to know that, yeah, yeah, I would suffer from space sickness. Maybe we won't go to space. So we've got lots of 
stuff like this, astronaut suits and bits and bobs to tell us who's who and I mean he just looks tiny. If that's an actual original suit, I think I'm too big to be an astronaut. The universe. So this area is a little bit quieter, I don't think that school trip has made it this far yet. But the good thing about this museum is there's lots of interactive stuff to do in all these different sections, so it is a really cool place to bring kids or anyone who's interested in space. We'd been here about three minutes when Anna said, we're gonna have to come back without him. They actually upgraded our ticket because we got our tickets online. They upgraded it, a free upgrade to an annual pass so we can come back as often as we like in the next year and it's literally just down the road from us. So I think me and Anna probably will come back on our own at some point so she can nerd out. She's quite into space. any interactive touchscreen and he is in he loves an interactive touchscreen and there is a lot of them in this building what are we learning about on this one remember you are trying to work out not only how many planets exist but how many are right sort of like he could read that himself but he's making anna do it because lazy this booth here you used to be able to do weather forecasts in there like pretending you're actually on the weather in front of a green screen. Don't think you can do that anymore. Um, Andy's given us the slip, there he is. Anna's gonna emerge in a minute completely panicked because she went charging around in the opposite direction. You're coming for me. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where mummy's gone. We'll find her. She doesn't trust my system for just letting him emerge himself in a minute. Should we go there and have a look? So this is the little weather forecast to this so there is a green screen there still and then i think depending on what you're doing on here um you then film video that's outside but i think it's a little bit too abstract for him to be interested in it although he does like the touch screen oh there she is she's found us don't know where she wandered off to right andy look if you stand back here you'll be on the video so stand back a bit back a bit look you see yourself on the camera so stand back a bit. Five, four, three, two, one. And then say something. <laughs> Great, we are ready to record. Yep. Right, you're gonna do some recording, look. So you stand here and you say what it says on the screen, look Andy. Yeah. Are you gonna do it? You're gonna be in the video again? So say, I would be willing to use public transport more. Or public transport more, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's where you used to do the weather forecast, but it's now a, uh, a thing. I'm not sure what kind of thing, but it was fun. We did video. There is like a planetarium show in here that we've been given a slot for, but he was already getting pretty agitated to queue to get in in the first place. I don't think he's going to want to queue again and then wait. So we might not do the planetarium bit. It is cool. I did it years ago. If it's not changed, it's awesome. And let's face it, if it has changed, they've probably just made it even more awesome. But he's having a while of a time just using all of these touch screens that are in here. It's such a cool, interactive place. Like I said at the start, I came here on a STEM trip with school years ago. It is just a great place to come for a STEM trip. It's always full of school trips in here. So. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the way to get to the big spaceship. Although well, nobody else seems to be coming up here. Hello. So I hope we're not about to get shouted at. But we've seen the big spaceship is still here, so we saw it from outside. So I think you just come around here into that big hangar. Which is the definitely the main event. Follow these lights are pretty snazzy. Andy, just wait for mummy. Hi mummy. Andy's idea of waiting for Anna is telling her to hurry up and then going back there and giving her a push. What's he found? Has he found a lift? I think he, he has found a lift. Okay, that's gonna be more of an attraction than any spaceship, always. So that's one of the sections we were down in before. I think we've done all of these bits that were down here. Have we done the space tourism? So, yeah, I think that's where they were doing the, the quiz. I hope they're coming back up. 
because they've got in that and just left. Oh, we need to be up here. Yeah, this way, yeah. So you found the lift then? After you'd come up the stairs. So through here is that big hangar bit on the side of the building. The rocket is in here. And this is definitely the coolest part of the entire museum. And it's got a big lift up the middle of it as well, which I suspect somebody is going to approve of. Oh my word, it's cold in here. We've got loads of rocket chunks. And then here we have a massive rocket which Andy is convinced he's going to be getting in. It's going to take off and then go to space. Is he in the lift already? I think he's in the lift. <laughs> is he in that? I don't know. I think he's got in that lift. Do you want one of us to stay down here? Yeah. Are you going up? Yeah. We don't even know what floor he's gone to. I don't know, three, four, we don't know where he got out. So Andy has jumped into one of these lifts and just gone. He's up there somewhere. Anna's gone in to look for him. We don't know what floor he's gone to. I'm gonna stay down here and see if he comes back down in the same lift. In all our years taking places, he's never done that before. But I, like I say, he was nervous about coming in here and I guess he's seen that and figured safe space. I like lifts, I'm jumping in there. But I don't know if that would have made him get out at the top or if something would have caught his interest at the top. This is not ideal. Right, I could hear Anna shouting from upstairs, shouting his name. And now I think I can hear him. So I suspect they've reunited on the fourth floor. I haven't had a phone call yet though, so maybe they haven't. I don't know if I'm supposed to go up there now or what. Right, the lift is coming back down, so the fact that they've not called, if she has found him up there, I guess this is going to be them coming back down now, together, hopefully. Anna is likely to be very, very panicked. They've now gone past the floor that I'm on, they've gone down to zero, if that was them, unless they're in this lift next to me. Right, there's Andy and there is Anna. Right to the top. You found him though. <laughs> well, that was a first. Are we not doing this in here or are we going to the show? Right, our show is in 10 minutes. So we're going to go to the show and then we're going to come back to this because this is the best bit of the whole museum because it's the big rocket called Thor. Right, should we go and see this show then, Andy? Come on. So we've now connected back up with Andy again, but had to leave the rocket because our appointment for the show is now. So we've had to come away from that area before we've had a chance to look at it. And now there's a big queue to get in here. I think the combination of the stress of being separated and then the queue and going back and repeating himself, which he hates doing. I don't know if we're going to get back into the, back into the rocket, which would be a shame because it's awesome. But like I say, me and Anna are going to come back on our own to do that at some point anyway. But I think he will enjoy the show that goes on in here. He's enjoying less the massive amounts of queues and all of the people around because of all the school trips and things that are in here. It's very loud and quite overwhelming in here today, which I think it probably is most days because it's always busy. Well, we queued up for 10 minutes, got in, he took one look at it with all of the, because it was a dark room, but with Lots of chairs to sit down. I think it reminded him of the cinema, which he doesn't usually like. It's loud and dark and not a particularly fun place for him. He took one look, turned around, ran out, ran under the little fence thing, lost his coat, which I just had to go back and grab off the lady. And uh, now he's back here having crisps. He's having two bags of crisps. We've sat down to have some lunch and probably the greatest sandwich I've ever seen at any place ever. They have just a jam sandwich. So I am having a jam sandwich for lunch and it looks delightful well as suspected he's eaten his crisps and has decided he wants to go to the exit he's just in the toilet at the moment he keeps repeating uh, no space cinema I think is what he's saying and he also doesn't want to go back to the spaceship because 
I mean, you saw it really panicked him last time. So we often find this when we bring Andy to the first to a new place for the first time. Um, he'll Barely hate it, shocked. and then on the way home, he'll ask to come back. So we may well be back at some point, but I think for now, it's one more lap of the shop, and then we're done. <laughs> you should be used to it by now. Andrew. Andrew. You have some strawberry. I don't know that the fudge counts as space food, so I think the. Uh... You want anything I've got some cool toys in here. Do you want a space pencil? Even more of an extreme reaction to usual. We've not even left. We've just walked out of the shop, and he's literally saying, "National Space Centre again. National Space Centre more." We're saying you can you can stay now. We can. We've been here an hour. We can do more now. But I think he just wants to go home and then come back another day. It's probably been a lot to take in in one day, which is fine. It's another one of those places. It's right near home, so we can uh, we can bring him whenever. But I think he's probably done for today. Although he is wandering back over in that direction, so maybe not. Well, this is new. He's got a second wind and we are back in. Because he's got a wall he can whack. And actually, when we were in this area before, it was absolutely full of kids on a school trip. Whereas now it is quarter to one. They've all been called off for their, uh, for, to have their packed lunches over in the big dining hall that they've got here. So the actual museum itself is now much emptier than it was when we were in here before. So he's kind of got his pick of everything that he wants to do in here now. So it might be a more manageable experience for him second time around in the same day. Which like I say, we never normally get to come around again. Once we're done, we're usually done. Well, we are gonna be using his interests against him because of that enormous lift, the one where we got separated before, we've used that to persuade him to head back to the big lift for another go. So we're actually going to have a proper look at the area. It's got the rocket in, which is cool. This is the bit I really wanted to do. I can stop moping around and sulking now. That is a lot of rocket. Or as Americans would say, arugula. Chime. You do like the bell chime. Down now. No, let's get out and have a little look. Let's have a look first. Yeah, I haven't for 10 years. It's the moon. Let's have a proper look at this, uh, this rocket. See, weirdly, not as afraid up here as I was on that massive thing with the massive lift in Turin. Clearly the presence of all this technology rather than old stuff fills me with a little bit more confidence. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Oh, they're there. Oh, you're flying a spaceship. Is he landing it? This is like my flight stick that I've got at home for my flight simulator game because I'm a big nerd. Can we get a setup like this for the living room for me to fly my aeroplanes? Surprised Anna's not in here. This is like something straight out of Fallout. You're not hanging out in Fallout land in here. <laughs> I thought you'd have been straight in here. Yeah, I thought you might like this. And then we can watch the moon landing happen on the telly. Hello. Go on to the hello, we'll go to my pimp trout. <laughs> Andy, don't press Andy, every button in here. How do you, how no, do don't you sit on there. Don't sit. Don't Andy, don't sit on there. Andy, don't sit on there. Just here, we were pressing one, one, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he doesn't know how to turn the dial. Who's that? Morning, Andy. That's not unique to him. Lucy and Amy wouldn't know to turn the dial over. We've got the control room and launch tower. Is Andy actually in there? Hello? Can we see what you're doing in there? Ah, hello. 
<laughs> so Andy's doing that. I'm going to go through here. Yeah, you're not going into space. Don't worry. And I guess I'm going to make him uh, take off. So, are you ready for takeoff now, Andy? I'm going to press the launch button. Right, we have to press start. So we've got to do a, we can go through a whole simulation of the takeoff of a shuttle. So this is what you press to talk into. Hello, hello, hello. That's in the caption. Yeah, so the people in there can hear it. I was trying to talk to him when he was in there before. Right, I think we need to have some uh, button pressing. No, stop putting your feet on everything. I do like having all these buttons to press in here, it's awesome. Oh, they press the buttons in there, oh, I see. Yeah, we have to tell them what to press. Yeah. So we say, oh, we need to press the fuel pipe button and then they'll press it and... Hello. Yeah. That's going to freak that little girl out who's in there, bless her. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we've got on each of the floors in here. We're not getting to have a proper look because he's really rushing, but mm -hmm. if you want to come yourself and have a nose around, that's what you've got on each of the uh, floors yeah, where the I rocket is. Like to watch that thing there. Yeah, I would have liked to have put you in the little capsule thing and told you what buttons to press. That would have been cool. So this is the British space race floor, apparently. And what, I mean, I don't look as fancy as the, uh, the American ones, does it? Goodness me. And another massive screen with lots of buttons to press. <laughs> there you go, and that's how you dial a phone. Yeah, so if you want to, was it a mobile? You have to put all the way to zero. Um, seven. You can't dial a mobile from the home phone. It costs a fortune. So I'm gonna have a look at the uh, the rocket from here. So we've got a little one of them dealies, and then over here. Is another look at my buddy Thor. There he is down there. And all the way up, it is huge. I don't think the camera does it justice, just how big it is. It is very, very large. All right, let us in before you shut the doors. I think it was it, wasn't it? No, zero is the restaurant down on the bottom floor, look. We get out at one. Which we can just about see from this angle. If we crane round a little bit. More bits of rocket engine. And a massive Bose speaker there. An acoustic wave cannon system too. I bet that's loud. And there we go, back to the bottom. Well, somehow the last clip I recorded didn't actually record, so I'm afraid you're stuck with me editing Kev a couple of days later in my office. Hopefully you have enjoyed that video. If you have, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel for lots more stuff like this. We are looking to do lots of uh, days out, theme parks, interesting places to visit within the UK alongside the travel content that of course we're doing now as well. We want to include some stuff that's a little bit more local to home um, that Andy can get involved in and still be involved in the videos because he does enjoy it. So make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on for that kind of stuff and use the comments section to suggest other places we could go and visit for days out. We've already decided we're going to try and do the top 10 theme parks in the country. But what else could we try as well? What hidden gems have we maybe missed? Thanks for watching, folks. Toodle pip. Bye-bye.